Hey guys, there's a lot of confusion out there about what I'm calling the alphabet soup of variants. All these different variants that people are talking about. Let's clarify that. You've got the Omicron variant, which has different subvariants BA1 through BA5. BA1 is the subvariant that initially hit at the end of last year, beginning of this year, kind of took over across the world. It's three to four times more contagious than the Delta variant, so it very rapidly replaced the Delta variant. After that, we got BA2. BA2 is about 30% more contagious than BA1, so it caused a sort of second mini wave where it started becoming more prevalent as BA1 settled down. BA3 hasn't been an issue yet, but BA4 and 5 are becoming dominant in some parts of the world now, such as South Africa and Portugal. Just to make things more confusing, there is now a subvariant of BA2 called BA2.12.1, which is about 25% more transmissible, more contagious than BA2 itself, and therefore is starting to become more dominant, for example, in the US. This is what it looks like in the US. You see a transformation from BA1 early on over to BA2, and now a transformation to BA2.12.1. All of these different variants have different mutations. The most important question from a practical point of view is what is your cross immunity? In other words, if you got the Omicron variant in the original wave with BA1, what is the cross immunity or protection that you have from those antibodies against current variants? Unfortunately, from what we know so far, that cross immunity against BA4, BA5, and BA2.12.1 is actually not very good. So it looks like people who have had the original Omicron can get reinfected only a few months later with the variants that we are now seeing, which is obviously a problem. We still have lots to learn about how our vaccines protect against these newer variants, what kinds of symptoms they cause, how likely they are to cause severe disease, how likely they are to cause long COVID. Still lots to learn, so stay tuned.